All righty, this is session recap for the 20th day of uh, February. And this morning we watched as the dollar came down and has now bounced on the range wall, uh, range bottom. And sure looking like it's, it's going to make a turn to the upside. You already have the start of divergence, as you can see here. It's a slight little bit right there, but, you know, that's divergence for the up move. So watch for this to bounce and go back to the top of the range, all right? Well, when will we know that? Well, we won't know that until it starts to make a move up. It could still be a sideways move to break this down. We're going to go with dollar down right now, but we're cautious about that because of the possible ability of a bounce. But it was down all morning, all right? So euro dollar would be going up, and it went right up and went right to its ATR, stopped dead, and there it is, done. Done for the day, all right? So let me get the ATR up here. Put this up. All right, euro dollar has an ATR of 61 pips is all. British pound blog post this morning went right to target just like we thought to the pip to its ATR. That's why you got to know where the ATR is. Do I do I need to know where the ATR is? Uh, yeah, you do. There it is. Pound dollar ATR is 83 pips to the pip to the 83 pip. Dollar Swissy halfway to target right now, and uh, with dollar bouncing, that's why they've stalled here, all right. Dollar Swissy has a 67 pip ATR. That target is at 87.72 down there. Dollar yen, all right, it's stalled out also. Halfway to target. Target is down here. We only have 55 pips left, so get rid of that. Target is down here at 149.99. All right. Oh, wait, 141, well, 149.14. Oh, no, that's not even that. Ah, can't tell. 149.40 area right there. All right, 105 pip ATR. Aussie dollar to the pip to its ATR. Gee, I wonder that. 55 pip ATR. And there it is. And where'd it go? 55 pips to the pip right there. All right, we, if, if a dollar keeps going down, watch for 55 pips up here tonight. All right, if it goes down. Now, if it doesn't and it goes up, watch for this to turn to the downside. Here we end. All right, we're halfway to target right now. And, uh, you know, uh, we've got 55 pips, so let me get rid of that right there. All right, so it's too late to trade this now, but we're looking at a target up here. Actually, the range uh, top at 162.80 up there, and uh, Euro Yen has a 90 pip ATR. Pound Yen, right? Pound Yen, we're in this trade live, and uh, the more this flops around, the more. Oh, wait, we do, we do have it. 31 pips, sorry. All right, our target tonight, right now, is at 190.27. And uh, pound yen has a big ATR of 116 pips. So it'll go up. If, if the dollar keeps going down, this will come up in this area up in here tonight. New Zealand dollar. Right? New Zealand dollar to its ATR and made a shift. Almost got to the 1,000 right there. Just missed it by about, what well, looks like four pips is all they missed it by. All right. So uh, New Zealand dollar has an ATR of 55 pips. Over to Aussie yen. Right? Aussie yen. We're at the top here. We don't have any target because we're waiting for it to finish and uh, start the move to the downside. You do have divergence on here, so be be aware of that. See, so headed down, headed up. We have divergence for the down move. Now you can see this might be a nice shot at a real estate of the week trade. So those of you who know how to trade those, we don't. We we went through it yesterday. We uh, chose the pound Aussie. But uh, you can see that uh, this this might qualify as being not too bad, right? So let me get rid of that. And I'm, I'm going to actually extend this back out to here now. And sure enough, it proves the heart line. So it's actually within the channel right there. Watch for the turn. They put the money in how many times, right? They put the money in once, twice, three times, right? So first money came out over here. This is the second money coming out here. There's going to be another bounce. Don't take this early. They're going to come down here, and then they're going to bounce it one more time, and then they can go. All right, because this money is already out. It came out here. This money is out here. But this money right here has to come out over here, and it's not out yet. So don't trade it early. All right. All right, over to uh, can't trade euro pound. The ETR is too low. Uh, we're over to euro Aussie, and uh, we're waiting for it to turn down. And it's just got a lot of bulls here. It may do a C wave up to the top. Euro Aussie has an ATR of 94 pips. Watch for it. That's coming down to 64.19 and hold for 6400. Now, if dollar goes uh, up, 
uh, uh, you know, last night it was going down and dollar went down, right? So right now it's correlated with the dollar. If dollar goes up, this is going up. And, you know, there's a good high probability that the dollar is going up. We don't know that yet. We can't prove it yet. But we've got a good clue that it might be. Over to Swiss, uh, the cheap yen, right? And wait for a breakout up. And uh, 171 uh, is the target up there. And 95 pip ATR. Over to Pound Aussie. Right? Pound Aussie, we got a break to the downside. And uh, then a pullback right here. And uh, we're waiting to see if it turns here. This is the bailout zone right here. And if it turns here and goes down, we're going to target actually the S5 down here, 91.50 area. And Pound Aussie has an ATR of 121 pip. You're in New Zealand, all right? Waiting for the turn here. Well, you see the bulls are here. Watch for a C wave, A, B, C wave, all right? So target is down here at 74.50. And uh, you're in New Zealand has an ATR of 109 pips. Pound New Zealand, all right? It's pulled way back up. It just it just missed its ATR by about 10 pips down here. Exactly 10 pips is what it missed it by. And uh, pulled back up, all right? So, hmm. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I wouldn't trade it now because it almost did all its ATR already. So wait for five o'clock and pound New Zealand has a new ATR of 141 pips. Watch for 141 pips to the downside if dollar goes down. If it doesn't, it goes up, watch for 141 pips up. Wait for the U.S. dollar. All right. New Zealand yen right to the pip to its ATR once again. That's why you use the ATR, 63 pip ATR. And finally, pound Swissy, and we're almost the target right now. It'll most likely tag it. It's only got about 10 more pips to go. At uh, 1.1160, and pound Swissy has a 64 pip ATR. All right. All righty.